on the new YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Catherine, I'm a year three teacher in Bedfordshire and I have just finished my first week as a cover teacher. Okay, so like I said, I am no longer a class teacher, I'm a cover teacher. Um, if you're not sure what that is, basically, if a teacher is out of the classroom, either on PPA meetings, that sort of thing, I cover the class. It is scheduled, so whenever a teacher is scheduled to be out for PPA or things like that, I kind of swoop in and teach the class. I teach the planning that is on the system, already prepared for them, and I teach the lesson that's already like in that block. So, in terms of what I actually do, I have a timetable that was given to me before half term, and I kind of had a brief look at. I did swap some lessons. I believe. I did swap some lessons with some of the HLTAs, other people on the cover timetable, just because they had PE and they didn't really want to do PE. But that was disrupted when I was off work for two weeks because they kind of had to do it because I wasn't there to swap. It's in my bed. So, like I said, I do a lot of PE and RE, some handwriting, some French, some music. But I have a set place to be in certain times. For example, from 9 to 10, I have um directed time in key stage one or key stage two so i'm told by the phases what to do or i'm teaching in a class or i've got ppa but there's really no in between i just i'm usually doing something there have been a few times this week where i have had like three hours where i'm just kind of there oh my god because we're on a staggered timetable because of the pandemic and in that time, I've just kind of used my initiative and just decided where I should go. Usually to go to year three to do pure passports because there's loads of those to get through. But generally, I'm just told where to go. I go there, I do things, I leave. It's quite nice. I only have five blocks on my timetable, so I've got five hours of doing things. Lunch is included on my timetable, break times are included on my timetable. It's just the lessons of where I'm going like the start time and the end time of the lesson, the class I'm in, lesson I'm teaching. It's up to me to do the rest. So my Monday PPA, I spent finding the planning for the lessons, adapting the planning for the lessons, like editing the flip charts and just getting resources ready. But because I get to school quite early, I still get there early, not like stupid early like I used to do prayer for school. I get there um, early enough and then there's actual time before school starts once I'm there. So most of the time I prepare my things like on the day in terms of resources and printing and copying. But the other reason for that is because I don't have a class to leave things. I can't just leave things on my table like I would do, or my desk like I would do. Because I don't have a table or a desk to leave things on. So it's easier to just prep things in the morning. Now I'm going to use it that day and then it'll be done with. Then have a whole week's worth of stuff prepared and just sitting in the staff room for no reason. So yeah. That's my timetable. Um, so my thoughts so far. Obviously it's only been the first week. And honestly, Monday I was fine. I had my PPA. I had my first two P lessons. And they went really well. I loved them, they were great. So on Monday I was like, okay, I can do this. But because each day is different, like Mondays will all be the same, but Monday is not the same as Tuesday. I really had to get to the end of the week before I thought, okay, am I actually okay with this? And now it's Friday and I'm okay with this. There's lots of different reasons why I'm like, okay. Main one being that it is now 4.55 and I'm home. And not only my home, I'm home, I'm vlogging. I've had a snack. I've been home long enough to spill a drink and when I was class teacher that wouldn't happen. I would be home around six o'clock or like quarter to six because I'd be prepping a thousand things, even on a Friday. And I still wouldn't feel like I'm done. And I'd still be planning on the weekend. So the fact that I'm home, beautiful. The fact that I've marked everything for the day, incredible. The fact that I teach my CPE, which needs no marking, never change. But there are things that I do miss, like I do miss my class. Um, it does feel really weird being in the building 
and not teaching my class because the kids are looking at me and like and I'm just like I don't I don't need you so I'm not gonna like interact with you because I don't you are not required right now so that feels weird I did think I didn't want to go back to year three like even when I was back in school after half term I thought I would just kind of avoid year three in general just because being there would be a bit too but it's fine I went on Monday I had to go there anyway to do some things on Monday the kids saw me they saw that I was back they voiced their disapproval of my not being there for two weeks and we all moved on together so so far I'm enjoying it that's all I want to say about it if anyone's got questions about this please please comment below because I really want to like talk right let's actually end this vlog with that rambling um if you don't always subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel i'll be doing loads of like teachery stuff in the upcoming weeks transition day is in two weeks i know my next video was supposed to be transition day but i literally cannot think of anything head empty i have nothing to go with so i am actually going to just sit down and do it this weekend this weekend this weekend so i'll be recording a plan with me a transition day type thing on the weekend and then i can share my ideas i might do like a post on instagram to do ideas because that way it's there forever and you can go see them wanting but also i'll be sharing like what i think i want to do just because i haven't planned it with my part teacher yet i don't want to do two different things but hopefully that's the weekend video like this video as well um if you have any questions like i said about cover teaching changing roles how i'm doing i don't know please comment below i do want to like give more information about what it's been like to be a cover teacher i just don't know exactly what to say so please ask questions i'll answer the questions if you don't already follow my instagram daft teachers um please do i do post over there a tad more regularly just because it's easier to take a photo and post it than it is to talk record edit upload to youtube that 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 so yeah find me over there and that is it from me i am gonna go now i want a snack i want a donut i really want to make some ramen i did actually film my whole week this week but i know what i'm like and the chance of me editing that actually putting it up is very slim so maybe there'll be some kind of montage at the end of this video i don't know we will see but I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.